What's going on people and welcome back to the Ogano Art Family and today I'm going to be talking about the need for seeking approval for from external sources now when we want approval it's usually like it's usually focused on trying to fit into a specific standard in our society so you have like you know a set of different people trying to tell you how to live your life and whatnot not like they don't want you to do certain things in your life but you actually want to do something else and whatnot so you know so they try to change your vision to fit theirs you know so this this would be so to constantly be seeking approval for people like that it will you know lead to you know an increase in anxiety levels and you know with an increase in anxiety levels anxiety levels there's a you know a decrease in the uh, creative process so i'm going to share you know personal experience for from myself my own story so uh, so before i started this youtube channel and i started you know making the ogana toxic segments to you know express my ideas and whatnot there were some people that didn't really they didn't really clicked with it when i expressed it when i did express it to them they said it was stupid oh it wouldn't work blah 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 but you know i just decided to you know make a video to see who would who would, would reach out to and um you know my first video was you know the value of going with the flow and i spoke about um serious and play being a spectrum and aren't separate from each other so um and you know it did reach out to you know some people and it it did like when i continued making these um Ogano talks videos it, it reached out to you know a lot, around like you know five people and were like oh cool this works for me or you know they found it into entertaining about what i was talking about they found you know yeah entertainment and what i was talking about and also some of the advice that i said did help them so so like if i had uh you know if i was seeking uh, the approval of the person who denied the vision of me not wanting to do it or thought it was dumb then i wouldn't you know be making these videos right now you know and i wouldn't have helped those you know five people that you know commented <laughs> you know they commented through like you know pms or you know the uh facebook or uh tapastic pms the comic website but yeah and this is why you should approve yourself more, you know, value your own content. And I remember like way back when in, um, let's say, uh, I think, yeah, around high school, I, I, I was showing my music teacher about uh, certain uh, drawings. I mean, my drawings weren't as, you know, evolved as, as they were, you know, back then. So I did show some of these teachers the drawings and they were like, oh, this, this is not going to work. I've seen, I've seen, you know, I, I've seen this, this, this looks like, this just looks like some, some children's drawings or something, you know, it doesn't look serious, blah, 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 but, um, me, as a person, I, I valued that, uh, I valued, I found approval for my own work, even though the music teacher, you know, did deny it and whatnot, you know, and I was back then seeking approval from that music teacher but even though that was you know it was denied approval from that music teacher i still valued the the content i was um you know creating and now it has evolved into you know what it is at at the moment like right now you know so like in the beginning people aren't gonna see your vision until it starts to evolve through time and then they'll start to see what you were seeing back in the past you know so there are two pe two people that i've mentioned the the music teacher and some other guy and you know if i had seek their approval previously i probably wouldn't be making these videos and at the same time i probably won't be you know be like as advanced as i am at the moment with my art but you know i'm still improving so yeah with the art so um but i mean but like in the past it has got a ten, 10 times much more better than it was previously and you know again if i had seek that approval and listened then this wouldn't have happened so yeah and like i've even had some people who were like 
oh, your art is good to me. Now hurry up and make some money from it, you know. And, you know, in my heart, I wanted to, you know, train up more in the lab, you know, until I, you know, advanced in my artistic style even further. And if I had followed the person who was like, oh, your art is good, now hurry up and make some money, then the, it would, the goal would probably be to ignore the passion and focus on the money while I was trying to seek that person's approval. So, yeah, just approve of yourself first. And, you know, you can tell people or someone that they're pretty or handsome, but if they don't see that themselves, then, you know, it's it's pretty much game over because they've already given up on themselves. If they don't see that, then I guess, you know, to not see the value that's already within them. And so sometimes you hear... Oh, you got to please the crowd and whatnot. But it is possible to please yourself, approve yourself, and at the same time, please the crowd. You know, you don't have to, rather than sacrificing your vision, your passion at the cost of pleasing a crowd. And at the cost of 100% pleasing the crowd is that you lose originality in the process. And you train yourself out of the out of your own imagination, and I feel your imagination or your creativity improves when you aren't afraid to get things wrong. And sometimes when people are desperate for approval, it's often a sign that the person wants to be correct all the time and or right, or they want to be a perfectionist, which is which is what I feel the you know the opposite of the artistic or art expression. Because like if you if you guys like seen my, my previous videos, I say that perfection is a illusion when it comes to art because you can keep on adding to it or you could keep subtracting it to it, you know. But you know, approval is a good thing. You know, I love getting approval sometimes, but don't you know don't I don't rely on it one hundred percent. You want to find that, you know, perfect balance. And to give a, a excellent example of um, self-approval would be to mention J.K. R Rowling, the, uh, you know, creator of Harry Potter, who was, you know, denied publication, I believe, seven or, or 12 times. And um, I think they also wanted to, you know, change and edit J.K. Rowling's vision. But, you know, she, she, was, she was like a warrior. You know, she was persistent. She kept on going. She found approval for what she had created, you know, and she wanted. And now now look at her now. She, she's, you know, she's very popular now, you know. So for someone like me, I like the entertainment of, you know, manga, shonen manga and, you know, storytelling and storytelling in forms of, you know, various forms of, you know, different stories like a. Uh, not just like a shonen based story, but like various genres of stories, but the visuals of a, a shonen manga as well. So I'm looking for various forms of, you know, cool cinematic techniques or storytelling, storytelling styles. And, you know, storytelling is as much of a skill as it is with art. And it's my love for the entertainment aspect of comics that you know make me improve and advance even more you know so at the same time i'm pleasing i'm improving of myself and also the audience because you know al although they may like the artwork what it, yeah although the audience may like the artwork and what what not whatever is presented to them if i myself do not approve of what's being created then it's game over pretty much the the passion is gone the love for the craft is gone so you have to find that really good balance for you to approve of yourself first and foremost and then the audience to have that you know that perfect blend that that cool blend but nothing's perfect you know so I made a one shot a while ago and there you could see my development as an artist and at the same time storyteller.
And if you were to to compare my works now compared to then, there would be you'd see a major difference. I mean, probably not now, but probably not now at this time. Probably in forms of the artwork. Yeah, but not the story at the moment because chapter one is still in the process. But you'll see a huge, you know, once chapter one is you know out there, you'll see a huge, you know improvement from the past one shot that I made but 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 although you you may see improvement that doesn't mean that the art or the story is perfect for you can always keep you know adding more or subtracting to improve whatever you're doing you know it's a learning process once chapter one is done I'll learn some of the stuff from what people say from chapter one and pull upon on chapter two you know which is why I love the entertainment aspect because it, it involves the the other people, it involves the other collective, and but with the interactions with you know other people's approval or the or, or an audience's approval, you never want to be closed-minded to the ideas. You want to be open to them, but at the same time, don't completely sell yourself out and find approval for yourself. Find that balance of approval for the for you know other people and you but most and foremost the the most important thing find approval for yourself you know because if you don't find approval for yourself then everything else starts crashing down so i think that'll be it for now guys uh you know don't don't forget to you know join the family you know hit that subscribe button you know you know don't, don't hit it actually you know let's let's not be violent you know Give that subscribe button a big old hug. But, yeah, that'll be it for now. Later, guys.